Hello, my name is Emmanuel Demo, and I'm doing my literature homework on the fly and the ointment. In this play, we only have two characters. Which are Harold over here. He's a low-paid lecturer, and Harold's father. He's a businessman who recently got bankrupt. Scene one. Oh, hello, Har Harold. You didn't tell me you were coming. Well, I wanted to surprise you. Let's go into my office. So come in, Professor. Haha. <laughs> come into my office, if I can still call it an office. Take a chair. At least you still have a chair. Thank you. They took everything from me. Well, do you want tea? No, thank you. I just had. You can drink it. How's Alice and the children? They're great. I heard about the creditor and I decided to come over on your last day. That's really thoughtful of you, old boy. I've got most of the machines out today. It must be worrying. Worrying? You keep using that word. I'm not worried. You have always been an optimist. If I weren't an optimist, I wouldn't be here today. Your hair's going thin. You ought to you ought to oil it more often. I know that. Why are you lecturing me? I don't want you to think I'm lecturing you. But I think I think you should think big. Well, you thought big till you bust. I mean I'm not like you. Harold, don't get the wrong impression about me. Scene 2. There's a fly in the room. Sorry, let me just get it out. Oh, I can see it. Help me kill it or open the window or something. Get it. I hate them so much. It's on the ceiling. Help me get on the table. Here. Here he comes. Ah, you missed it. Ah, be careful. Don't lose your balance. Give me a hand, old boy. Are you alright? Sit down. <sighs> Money has been a curse. I don't want it. I don't want to see it again. All I want to do is li live at a beach or something. Father, I have... Let me finish. Money isn't important to me. And even if anyone handed me the world's worth, I wouldn't accept it. I can raise some money. Raise it? Why? Why didn't you tell me sooner? How? Where? When? That's the end. Thank you.